Hello fellow vehicle sim nerds, this is Marcus Gorovac. Today we're going to be doing the first little bit of World of Warships Legends. So this is a uh, console port of World of Warships, and it is available on PlayStation 4, which I'm playing it on, and also on Xbox as well, if you're on you know, the other team. Welcome to World of Warships Legends. Begin your journey by battling against the AI. Play battles and raise your service record level. Each level unlocks new game features, including battle types, upgrades, and more activities. So when you first launch into the game, you basically are uh, going to start with one of three ships. The Alabama, the Chikuma, and the Weymouth. So they are each very basic Tier 1 cruisers. And the first uh, battle you're going to fight is going to be human players versus the AI. It's the only option to start with, but you get more options later. So we're launching into it now. So basically, uh, with just cruisers in the battle, um, the rock, paper, scissors mechanic of the game is reduced to sort of just like scissors versus scissors versus scissors. So the games are fairly short, fairly, uh, fairly brutal. A lot of heavy fire back and forth. Not a lot of you know, sneaking around with the uh, smaller ships, like the destroyers, or a lot of you know, the sort of you know, mobile fortress play of the battleships. So basically, we're just looking around. We're sort of in the middle. Uh, we've got allies on both sides. Our allies are all human players. Our enemies are all uh, AI. The AI is not especially difficult. Uh, it doesn't present too much of a challenge, which is good because this is just sort of us practicing. This game is so beautiful. Uh, anyways, just looking around at our little ship. It's painted white in... Uh, American great white uh, colors. So we're just getting started. Um, one of the interesting things about this game is it's got a sort of you know, slow, stately uh, play to it. Um, as a cruiser, we're sort of moderately stately. We're not the slowest ship or the fastest ship, sort of down the middle. But even still, it takes us a little while to get going. It takes us a little while to steer. You have to sort of plan your moves well in advance. So right now we're just sort of figuring that out. We'll line up our ship with this gap between these two islands over here, heading in the direction of the enemy capture point. The other interesting thing, as you can see, uh, down in the bottom, we have three guns on our little tiny ship model that are white. They're the ones that are facing towards um, the, the forward. As we spin around, other guns are available to fire. So right now we've got two guns. So you can see the you know, aiming circle has two halves to it. Spin around, little orange things follow. Once they get to the middle, those guns have caught up. We're going to lead our target and send some shells out. Two splashes. We've got three guns available. One out as a test shot. Two more. That test shot is ready to go again. Now we're going to wait for all three, and we'll get a fourth gun in there. Our little three uh, pie section turned to four pie sections. As we turn sideways on, we get a lot more guns to bear, but we're also more vulnerable. Take a quick look around. I get back in time to aim up our next shots. Three more hits. All splashes. So we're aiming right towards the bow because the ship's not moving especially quickly. But even still, you can see it takes us uh, you know, one and a half seconds, slightly more than one and a half seconds for our shells to reach the target at this range. We're certainly not like shooting lasers, and this is not you know at light speed. These things take some time to cross these distances, and the distances are pretty long. Even this, this close-up fight, we are uh, two, you know, a bit more than two kilometers away from our target. And there we go. Get enough shells into them, and we get a kill. So we look for another target. He's going to go behind an island before we get to him. Ally, there we go. So one gun has come around to him. Some more guns coming in. Two guns, a third gun coming in, a fourth gun coming in. So when you switch sides, 
The two guns on the side are ready to go almost right away. But the fore and aft guns have to rotate, you know, all the way around. So you have to sort of decide in advance which side you're going to be firing from. Oh, two more hits. He's coming under some heavy fire from multiple different directions, though. We'll see if we can get enough shells into him before before he dies. Four shells out. Got incapacitation. So we hit his engine sections towards the back end of the ship, towards the aft. So that means he's going to be slow. Keeping our head on the swivel, looking around between guns. Not really too much point. Oh, almost got him. Not really too much point to having a... Oh, we missed that one. Um, to having our guns zoomed in all the time. It takes us a while to reload. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my tiny assistant's coming to visit me. Um, putting some shells out into this guy now. Again, since we've switched sides, you can see the fore gun is coming around now. The aft gun is still rotating around. It's going to take a little while to get there. It's coming, it's coming. There we go. Four guns up. Four shells out. One hit, two hits, two incapacitations. All right. Another salvo off. We're about to run between this island here. Get another round in. Put, oh no, not quite. So he's gone behind an island. We're run out of targets for the moment. Oh, no, he's dead. No, it's just come all the way around. We're gonna turn, 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 turn. Again, it takes us a long time to switch directions. And that's it. So that was a um, fairly technical early game battle. Again, as I said, you know, the rock, paper, scissors gameplay is basically scissors, scissors, scissors. We did just shy of 20,000 damage, 45 target hits, 5 incapacitations, 1 destroyed. We were at the second place result. We narrowly missed out on getting a couple of other kills. We could have done a little bit better if we just, you know, gotten lucky on which shot lands. We've leveled up to level 2, so now we can modify our ships. This is the sort of like slow trickle feed of new features that come out. And uh, we can see what that looks like here. So basically you go into the ship, you press square, because I'm on a PlayStation, and it will show you uh, the various upgrades you can do. So we've got enough XP now that this white bar is actually all the way full to the end. We're going to install a um, upgrade. So it's going to increase our maximum range. So we can fire a little bit further and a little more accurately. Uh, this one is just specifically just the uh, the range, and then this bar is all the way full. So eventually we'll be able to upgrade to our next ship.